by our calculation, you are now over 50% of U.S. GDP in enacted and proposed stimulus, both by the Fed and, and the government itself. Uh, so in, in that respect, it was definitely appropriate. We're now at the point where the market's sort of settling in and waiting the next several weeks are very important to see exactly how the economy reopens and, as importantly, what the course of the virus is during that progression. But I would say that, you know, to your point that you're at low level of activity and masks and so on and so forth, the market is okay with that for the next couple of months as this progress uh, you know, gets underway. It's the spike in cases where, where we encounter more difficulty. Yeah. And, and that's it. I mean, we got the jobs number on Friday. We know it's just going to be absolutely terrible. It's really health data is the new jobs data, is it not? I mean, if we can slowly start to reopen, Julian, and more importantly, keep bending that curve or at least not have a big flare back up in new cases, I would imagine that's the kind of positive data that you and your team want to see most. A hundred percent. No question about it. And if you look at the jobs data over the last, you know, six weeks or so, as, as absolutely gut-wrenching and awful as it has been, and there's no denying the scope of, of the tragedy of that, the market has tried to accept it in, in you know, sort of in stride as, as strange as it happens in financial markets. But it really does come down to the health data. Because the question is, is come the fall, are we going to want to send, send our kids back to college? Are we going to eat in restaurants? Mm -hmm. Are we going to fly on an airplane? Well, we definitely want to send them back to college, but that's a different issue. Uh, Goldman Sachs yesterday, Julian, saying that some of the big cap techs, which have been leading the market for a decade, have just, they maybe have peaked out and, and they're worried. Are you, or, or can this market really just continue to be pulled by five or six stocks, as it has been. Well, what we found is that when when the bear market ends and a new bull market begins, which our case is that you are in the process of beginning a new bull market, and it is a process, what we tend to see is that the laggard, uh, namely energy and small caps, uh, really sort of the center of the selling uh, in the spring, tend to be yeah. the leaders on the way out. And from that perspective, we think – uh, large cap tech, as long as it's a market performer and we expect that, I think we'll be fine.